Morning, afternoon, evening, and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play the Rift Breaker. Uh, so last time we left off, we did the Stegoros Nest, and we were able to get some research and technology from that, and we want to go to different biomes. I'm going to upgrade my armory, because I think this is about the second or maybe even third episode in a row now, where I've just not had the ammunition that I need to, to effectively battle anything. And it's becoming a, a bottleneck, it's becoming a problem. So what I need to do is I need to find it, and I believe it... What's this one? Upgrade tool. Armory levels, okay, so... I'm already doing that, that's good, that's good. Yeah, 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 I'll build another armory as well. Um, I hate doing this, but where we're progressively upgrading things, unfortunately it means... So I can only build two, that's fine. It means that I can't a new technology has been developed. Upgrade those. Are available for crafting. Upgrade the walls. Yeah, it means I can't place them all in the same area, which is fine. We're gonna be likely uh, moving them all to this uh, run at re uh, blah, blah, blah. recon mission one and there'll be some other um, side mission biomes uh, with lava and acid as well that we will place a lot of our high uh, efficiency buildings in because that makes it a lot quicker and easier to not get attacked what's this one extra stable floor we will need that, so we'll actually remove those. So that's the first thing we need. The next thing we need is... I do actually want to... Sentry Bioscan... I do want to get invisibility, so what I need to do is I need to find... And I think they're this way, they're usually near the water. Where did I put a door here? Likely more upward than downward. Oh no, it is more downward than upward. Oh, I didn't have a door there at all. Yeah, I know I need to add that. That's that's silly. That's very silly. There we go. Let me out. Let me out. Right. We should be able to find some invisible enemies somewhere if we explore the map. Great. More stuff to kill our base. I think we get high wind though, at least. Right, so these guys can. Is this where you get 800%? I think, maybe. No, it's still 500. Crikey. They take quite a bit of punishment. Oh, that is scary. Nice. Right. I'm not used to seeing those animals until quite later on. I really hope the invisible enemy is around here somewhere. Got the extra stable floor, nothing has been selected, so yeah, cool, right. Let's get let's just get these. I need to find those invisible enemies. Oh, right, let's go, 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 go. I swear, every single enemy is just completely resistant to flame. Which is strange, because I remember there being a lot of enemies getting hit by flame towers quite effectively. Game may have changed. Usually, the invisible ones are around the big. You, you always 
So even though these are random generated maps, there is always a kind of pattern. The storm is over. Good. You always have a big mud area there. And usually that comes with the invisible weather. There we go. I was right. I just need to be patient. I was going to say it usually comes with invisible ones nearby. And it does, as we can see them now. Well, or not, technically, but... And hopefully, there is enough of them to be able to get the technology. Because things are going to be a lot easier in the future if we have that technology. Uh, doing all of this without being invisible is going to be quite a chore. So we'll invest some time. in getting it now. I'm surprised I didn't see more of those invisible guys. Where is that coming from? There we are. Well, this is this is tricky. Let's go up there and see what's up there. There's usually a lot of invisible ones around here. Well, that's shocking and surprising. Let's just get rid of these quickly. Quite surprised at that. I'm very surprised at that, in actual fact. Do we even have what they're called? There they are. That's what they are. Okay, five out of ten. Species. There's no direct evidence yet. Confirm their ability to communicate with each other, but their cooperation and teamwork strongly suggest that comes out. Very sharp form blades kind of ability to cloak themselves. Yeah, I thought once you've got five, that was enough. Let's try and find the. Let's try and find the actual research that require that is required of it. It's going to be alien research, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is. But I th thought it would be... Yeah, it has to be alien research because it's an alien species that is getting the... The abilities there. Okay. I'm sure they've changed that so you can't be invisible early on in the game. I'm pretty sure I got invisibility very early on. In that case, what we will do is we'll go to our next one, which is the gather uranium ore samples. Let's do that one. The Tanzanite mission can be quite long. Uh, it depends where the map is random. Sometimes it puts the Tanzanite concentration you need to focus on pretty close to where there's like an oasis. Because where we're in the desert, we need to find water. Uh, there's an oasis. When I first played this game, it was literally the oasis was in the bottom right, and the Tanzanite cultivator that I had to make was in the top left. And I, oh, I had to build pipes with water all across the entire map, with enemies attacking me all the time, and it was just a nightmare. And then the next time I played the game, they were pretty much next to each other. <laughs> and it was just frustrating, but good fun. But good fun. So we have increased the armories, yet for some weird reason, it's not increasing our ammunition there. I'm a bit frustrated with that. However, what I have noticed is it is it is recovering quicker. That is a definite fact. They are recovering quicker. Wow. 
No rest for the wicked here. Straight on to this mission and uh, getting attacked massively already. Okay, Geoscanner out. Oh, we need a far more efficient weapon than these rockets. These rockets are good for the Stegoros, but not good. This is where I really want the lightning gun, but I'm not quite sure how to get it to fire. Those rockets are very effective. We'll, we'll keep those for now. And what we need to do is... We will grab that. We just need to get quite a few uranium deposits. And then eventually it will say, you know, oh, we found enough uranium deposits to know where there's much more of it. And that will be our true uranium outpost. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. There we go. We'll dig that. And we should get some loose uranium bits here. Oh no, it's tanzanite. So the next one will be uranium, hopefully. There we go. There we go in whatever direction it's kind of pushing us towards. Um, there we go. That's not too bad. I'm not talking as much because I actually have to focus and really concentrate on this bit because this is quite difficult. There's a lot of corridors and tight alleyway spaces and there's a lot of enemies so I'm just having to really think and go through very carefully. So we'll continue going up this way, actually map-wise, right, so we're going right into the corner, so we're kind of... There we are. Please get uranium. How much do we need? 500. It's usually 500 on these beginning ones. Uh, yeah, 500. Good. So none of them are giving up the goods, so we'll just kill them. That's how it works, right? No, it still wants us to go in the top right corner. Rocket time. Yeah, that's very effective. I like that. It's not too bad. It's annoying that I have to switch between weapons all the time, but it is what it is. New technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Right. Let's just get rid of these before we start mining. Otherwise, you never know. They might just start attacking us while we're doing it. So in theory, we've got to find 10 of these patches because they only have about 45 to 50 each. I do believe we will eventually get to one that's much more efficient. I agree. Oh, you chunky boy. Good, it's close by to near where we are. I was not in the mood for it being in the bottom left corner. Wow, we've already got an upgrade on these Stegoros in terms of the colour profile. Fun. That's going to be an interesting one. Because I haven't upgraded my weapons yet at all. I'm still on the basic standard ones. Oh, we're definitely getting... Mm, the purple ones usually give really good rewards. What we'll do is we will finish the mission and then we'll see how we feel about it. Because worst comes to worst, if it's really bad, we just teleport out of there. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, that's not good. I thought we'd saw that one. We'd seen that one before prior. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, it didn't die. Teleport away as well. Did that get it? I believe it did. Ugh, man. 
When it rains, it pours. Hopefully the armory is reco yeah the armory is recovering ammo a lot quicker now, which is good because I'm using it a lot quicker as well. I can see, everything again. Let's hope this I can see clearly now. Lorraine has gone. Right, let's avoid those enemies. We don't have to take those on. Let's just go straight to where we actually need to be. Okay, let's do take the enemies on because they're forcing our hand. There we go. There's a lot of creatures around this area. We won't be getting to that uranium without a fight. You can search for uranium elsewhere, but that's probably going to take more time. You can fight these creatures, or you can try to figure out a different solution. Ah, so just for the advice, Mr. <laughs> yeah. That's very helpful. Yeah. We'll just kill it all. Quicker. Quicker and easier. Right. Let's hopefully see this get the full 500. Uh, apparently not. Oh no, 474. That's not too bad actually. Yeah, that's that's alright. Then in theory with one more we'll be good to go. Seeing a lot of new species today. I should really get better armor for Mr. Riggs. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Oh good, 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 good. Maybe I can are any of those scannable? They are. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. And one more, one more, one more. Come on, one more. There we go. And we can kill them and hopefully we'll get some DNA from them as well. Well, there's quite a few of them. I'm guessing hit quite a bit. But hopefully by the time I take a few of them out, they can't flank me on the left and right anymore. And it should be a lot easier and quicker to just not move around as much and do I have I've got nine out of ten please give me ten out of ten please ah that's such a shame nearly had it nearly had it where we could have had I'm not sure what's the point again the DNA marks on those considering uh they're not they don't actually grant you anything I suppose they grant a tiny bit of biomass or right it's getting faster clicky this way isn't it yeah it's this way and up here? That's interesting. Oh, there we go. It's very specific. There we go. Job done. Oh, no. Job not done. Job not done. Okay, we've gathered enough uranium samples. We have to search for larger uranium ore deposits that can be mined autonomously. Fantastic. The type of uranium ore Download nuclear ore technology. That's good to go. At research, two minutes fourteen. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And then we should be able to go get the tanzanite. And we should be able to once we get the kermons. We should download the appropriate uranium handling technology to be ready to set up a mining. We should be able to then. Ashley, we can nice meteor right there. Of the uranium ore that we gathered to calibrate the orbital scanner. To search for more significant deposits. It's like following a breadcrumb trail, but let's try and find more invisible enemies. Because I think we need ten, and I think after ten we'll be able to then research those invisibility profiles, and it will just be so much easier to get some of these things done. Because when it comes to these uh, missions where you have to wander through and do all these things, we're getting attacked by enemies a lot of the time, which is fine. But sometimes you just want to get the job done in a particular way. And to do that, it's just easy to be invisible and meander through the level. So we'll see if we can find any more invisible guys. Hopefully we can. 
don't know why the scanner doesn't work on those a lot of the time. Please let me find some invisible people. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Oh, hello. There they are. Are any of those scannable? They are. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Bingo. Let's have a look. Got a new power fist. Might be able to get that. Extra stable floor. I'm sure I could get it before. That's so frustrating. That is so frustrating. One thing we will do actually is let's look at power fists. Here they are. Standard and advanced. Yeah, we're going to get advanced ones so they do more damage. And we'll go to inventory and we'll go to these and we will get rid of these. Disassembly. Yes. And another. So those are. Why have I only got. Oh, well, I'll equip that one. There we go. And then there's this one. And we can disassemble that. And we'll attach the advanced one. So in that way, these will do a lot more damage. And that should hopefully make our lives a little easier. Despite the fact that these are resistant to it, we are still getting through in some senses. Okay, in that case, uh, where we are not going to be able to get any um, DNA technology to become invisible, the game must have changed. I'm, I'm absolutely certain that I used to be invisible during the desert areas, and I always do the desert areas first. We will call that a day for episode 10, and we will be back later. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe, and I shall see you soon. Thank you.